Did you see the size of that wave? Not that wave, this wave. Nice shredding, Ava. Thanks. Waves are all around us all the time. There are waves we can see in the water and others we can't see. If we could see them, they'd look like, like this and like that and like this. All waves are regular patterns of motion, repeating moving shapes with highs and lows. The patterns always move from the high point, called the crest, to the low point, called the trough, and on and on. There are waves that we see, hear, or feel. We can see waves in the water. You can hear, and sometimes feel, sound waves. They are patterns of vibrations. Light waves are rays, or beams of energy, that you can see with your eyes. Three things all these waves have in common. The wavelength of a wave is the distance between a point on one wave and the same point on the next wave. It's usually measured from crest to crest or trough to trough. Super easy. When I drop this ball in the water, the wave it makes disturbs the flat surface. The amplitude is the distance from the crest or trough of the wave to where the flat surface was. The amplitude of the wave depends on how much energy or force is used. More energy, more amplitude. Last one, frequency. The frequency is a number of waves passing a point for a measured period of time. Frequency depends on amplitude and wavelength. You got all that? Great! Time to wave goodbye. Not funny.